You're gonna die. I'm no, gonna dude, win this I round. own this game. No, 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 no. Dude, score dekh raha tu? Yeah, main dekh raha hu. Tera bahut kam lag raha hu. Please. No, 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 no. Oh, beta. Oh, oh, got it. I'm dead. 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 Ek second, yeah, pause. Pause kyun kiya, yaar? Kya hai, yaar? पढ़ने लिखने का काम बॉयज कॉमा द मैनेजमेंट इज राधर प्लीज विथ योर परफॉर्मेंस एंड विथ टॉयज वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू इंक्रीज योर बजट फॉर द सीरीज फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू सीजन कैश है ब्रो यस फोर करोड़ क्या करोड़ है अबे रैली ट्रैक ऑफ रोडिंग F1, NASCAR, Grand Prix, MotoGP. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking of speed. Speed that gives a man his freedom and a high like no other. From the very first three horsepower engine by Carl Benz way back in 1894 to the Hennessy Venom GT with a mind-blowing, gut-wrenching 7,000 cc engine. The list keeps going on and on. This obsession with speed all began with the invention of the wheel and from then on it's been one hell of a ride. I've got a surprise that's going to make Bharat Nagpal's jaw drop. I've just spent over 2 crore rupees on a machine that is a piece of art with state of the art technology and it's something those crazy Germans could have put into reality. Bharat Nagpal, your wait is worth it. Mr. Nakpas, I'm just going to call you, man. What's that? My two crore toy. Jesus, no. Let's check it out. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That was crazy. That's what I'm talking about, too baby. Too fast. But I think we've been keeping them in the dark for too long. I think it's time to include them. Ah, uh, batadi aaja ine. Itna suspense kahe build kar rahe hain. Let's do this. It's only our second episode. We've upped the ante, and we've got a wild one for you this time. Welcome to Toys. The Andy and we've got a wild one for you this time. Welcome to Toys. What a Nakpal, this is my dream baby, the Audi R8 V10 Plus. I know it's a very long name, <laughs> but uh, what it can do with this mad V10 542 bhp is also absolutely mad. Really? Oh my God, that was a tough suspension call. Yikes! Yikes! Nine! <laughs> Whoa! The German weapon of mass destruction, the R8 V10 Plus. I know it's a very, very long name, but जो ये काम कर सकता है ना, जो ख्यातियाँ ये कमा सकता है, that list is also very, very long. What's a ख्यातियाँ? ख्याती is achievement. In terms of achievements, it looks fancy. It does. It looks. Megatronish. It looks. Tell me what's under Megatron. the hood. Actually, there's nothing under the hood. What's under the rear hood? Like, <laughs> what's under the boot? So it's a mid-engine, right. and uh, it's a full-blown supercar. Right. Uh, 542 bhp. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's actually 20 horsepower more compared to the previous R8 V10 coupe. Right. It has also shed some weight. Actually, 50 kilo. Yeah, and then it added me. And thanks, to, yes, and then we've added you. And thanks to all the carbon fiber that you see interiors and exteriors, me, right. it's lighter. Right. It's got 20 horsepower more. Right. It's got 10 newton meters of extra torque, which basically means this baby does zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.5 seconds flat. Wow. Wait. It does zero to two hundred kilometers per hour because most cars dip after hundred kmph right. in twelve seconds. Wow, nice! Listen, I love the analog feel. Have you seen this gear lever? Seriously, I mean, God bless Audi. God bless. Of course, this has a fantastic top of the line seven gear automatic transmission. and it has a fantastic s tronic paddle shift as well but 
just when you really really want to have the pleasure of a mad muscle car and want to go stick shift there's this mind blowing piece of metal staring at you with r8 written on it and you go Rrrr! from a big guy point of view Correct. and from even from a passenger point of view it's i think it's very raw but you I know think it's too raw at the end of the day we did pay 2 crores plus for this car that's correct and you should get some of the basic creature comforts which you don't which it truly feels like a race car i'll tell you it, one thing most that most race cars feel like this even ferraris uh, correct. Even, even lamborghinis correct. and i've driven those correct. and they have a very raw feeling to it and that's because they want to give you that raw feeling they want to give you a feeling where you feel like you're on the track correct. racing the car correct but this is an audi and audi has a lot of comfort in their A6, their A8, their A4. They do, but those are absolutely different luxury saloon sedan classes. How does it feel to drive? Is what my question is. It is so precise, and you know we keep talking about German engineering and German precision. This is German the best precision. way to experience it. Okay, so this car looks fancy, Ankit, and good job on picking this car. Woohoo! Uh, two crores well spent, I'd say. Dude, it's really hot, Ankit. I, I don't want to stand outside. The and, AC uh, works. Ah! <laughs> the music system works. it is very hot so today we are celebrating speed which is what my toy celebrates and i thought why not take our toy and push it to the limit okay what do you have in mind a drag race wow that's a good idea What? It was okay. Thirteen point five seconds okay. for four hundred meters. That was all right. It was pretty awesome. It was good. I won't deny it. All so, right, go for it. Let's check it out. <laughs> that was insane fun, but obviously I'm going to beat him to the drag race. Well, we will know the time soon enough, but until then I think it's time to move on to the list. <laughs> it's going to be Super Mario Mike Fall. Mera kya agla re? It's time for a brand new edition of The List. Today we are talking about games that we love and we play on a frequent basis. Of course, this is not a definitive list, guys, but here's Today's top ten. Start with your number five. So I'm talking about Halo. This game revolutionized gaming on the console. The way Halo was made, the way the franchise was designed, it made people crazy to play this game. And of course, Halo gave us the very popular Cortana. He is the last person I need protection from. Yeah, which we now see in all of Microsoft devices. Their speech recognizing artificial intelligence. My number five has to be a game जिन्होंने engineering colleges में तब बाही मचा दी। I'm talking about Counter Strike. Go go go! Well, this game was again a cult classic. You could, kids inside. were just playing this non-stop. In fact, cyber cafe revolution, भाई साहब इसमें बहुत बड़ा योगदान Counter Strike इस गेम का है. And I think some of the best and the brightest engineering minds of this country have become what they have. Thanks to Counter Strike. For my number four is Super Mario. Whoa! The amount of time we have saved the princess, <laughs> and the fact that she runs away again, is crazy. My number four pe has to be a game again, jo ek bhayankar tawahi machane wala cult classic hai. Fall back to the wall. Go, go, go! I'm talking about Call of Duty. The amount of graphics, the amount of detail, the amount of CG in it. The guy you're playing looks so real, and you know uh, grenades are flying and blasts are happening and AMGs are getting fired and you feel like you're in the middle of action. Love that game. For number three, I'll have to go with Metal Gear. It's like a movie. The way they've designed this character, the way they've played the future of this character, it is fantastic. Is the hottie in Metal Gear? What's her name? E se kuch hai na? 
Okay, if you guys remember who I'm talking about, just hit up the comment section and let me know if you love her as much as I do because that gets me to my next game, which is on my number three. Jiska actually Guinness World of Records mein in a khyati mili hai as the world's most well-known female gaming character, Lara Croft. But actually, it's one of the many games that have made it to the movie franchise. Yeah. I mean, Angelina Jolie, one of the best people to play Lara Croft. So let's talk about my number two. It has to be Contra. I mean, who hasn't played that game? You're running through a random 2D flat platform, killing the boss and going on to the next level. The kind of sounds, 8-bit madness, the music in the background, the explosions. Yeah, I mean, you don't need high definition visuals and Hans Zimmer's soundtrack. This was madness. It was the best multiplayer game of that time, according to me. Mere, dvithiya position pe. Tetris. Soundtrack basically is embedded into the brains. It's like ding, 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 ding. And of course, Tetris later became even more popular. जब Nokia के phones आए और phones के ऊपर आप खेल सकते थे, भाई साहब, this is one game very close to everyone's heart. This is the game that I personally feel is the number one game for me. We're talking about Grand Theft Auto. The biggest gaming franchise to have ever existed started with a god mode top down Aww. on controlling this one single <laughs> character who runs the streets and makes every teenager believe that he can go out there and do whatever the hell he likes. Gangster life, jine ke liye, all the teenagers, everyone who wanted to do things that you cannot do asli zindagi mein. ये गैंगस्टर लाइफ के लिए इसे मिलते हैं फुल टू थम्स अप एंड टॉप मार्क्स मेरे टॉप स्पॉट पे एक ऐसा गेम जिसने कंप्यूटर मैन्युफैक्चरर्स की नींद उड़ा दी थी दिस इज क्राइसिस हार्डवेयर वाज मेड फॉर दिस गेम People left comments on every new hardware launch saying that, but will it play Crisis? You have multiple cell units moving on your position. Do not jeopardize the goddamn mission now. Every time I think about a hardware game, the first comment that comes to mind is, but will it play Crisis? Just when I started at the beginning, it is impossible to pick out. 10 favorite games because this list can go on hundreds of games. But this was our humble attempt. I mean, everyone has games close to their heart. You have a list of games. Please leave those in the comment section below, and maybe we'll feature your list next time. Hey, 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 What is that? That is a new game that is just arrived. Are you arrived. serious? That's a FIFA 16? Yep. All right, let me see you play it. <laughs> no, no, let's play it. I've got this beautiful red controller for you and you're playing this. No, but hang on. Pehli baar, I think about after 22, 23 editions of FIFA, for the first time there are female footballers. Yep. I don't mind playing this game. Okay. Grab Nobody your controller. Is. Let's go. I'm going to play women's national Brazil. So I'm taking Brazil. Take Brazil. And you're taking Germany of course. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do? Batana control. Figure it out, yaar. How do I change the player? <laughs> Go for it, baby. Go for it. Where? Who are you talking to? Where is your player? <laughs> so I have to kick to the left. Hit a goal. Yes. Why couldn't you tell me that? Earlier? Why should I tell you that? Such a prick. I'm doing this for the first time. What is lob pass? Oh, beta! ये नहीं हो सकता. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Are you pressing all buttons, Uncle? No, baby. Oh man, look at that. This is crazy realism. Also, the fact that I'm super chill, and you're like killing the controller. <laughs> Please, मैं पहली बार. My little red controller is already bleeding. No, 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 no. Whoa! Oh man, not bad, man, for the first time. Okay, so with the limited hands-on time that we've got, what do you have to say of FIFA 16? I mean, FIFA is a franchise has grown. This time around, it's become more and more uh, real. So the realism in the game, uh, the way the players move, uh, the way the actions happen. So the gameplay experience has 
become a lot better. FIFA is a massive franchise for electronic arts. It's an eight nine billion dollar franchise. It's the best selling game ever, and I think it really shows. I even though I've never really played a FIFA, I think the first time the screen fired up, I was like, dude. Is this a video game? Because it looks almost real. So, in terms of a toys rating, would you give this a thumbs up and uh, suggest people go ahead and buy this? I would give it a two thumbs up. Two thumbs up from Bharat Nagpal, the avid gamer. I had a ball of a time. And make sure you spread this video around the interwebs. Share it with your friends. Interwebs is a good families word. and uh, your little brothers and, your and sisters and all the other people that no longer speak to you as well. <laughs> I think this is what happens to me when I'm driving the Audi R8. You become the Hulk. Hulk cut! <laughs> it's here. Madness. It doesn't matter. This is Sparta. So we already know I've done the 400 meter drag in 13 and a half seconds. What's your time? It's 13.9. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it. I yeah. won the drag. I mean, the car sort of giving up on me when I was driving it. Also, the fact that I was like stuck and I was like yeah. one feet in the air. Excuses, <laughs> The R8 just does not like the way he holds her. That's that is correct. She responds yeah, to me better. I, yeah, that car doesn't like me. Until this worm was basically... Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into the legendary toys time machine. Because it's time. This day, that year, or something that we like to politely call TDTY. And the day that we are talking about is of course 2nd of November, but the year we are rewinding to is 1988. We're going to Cornell University, where a gentleman named Morris invented something called the Morris Worm. Mr. Robert Morris had a very harmless intention. Internet ki 1988 size But invariably, Galti se mistake ho So Clifford Stoll, who was part of the team, which was investigating the worm, found that in 15 minutes, the worm had spread to over 2,000 computers, which is humongous for 1988. There were thousands of computers that were infected, 100,000 to 10 million dollars in 1988 was the potential loss and computers were just dead. Units like Anonymous exist because of the Morris one. We are Anonymous. This has been Bharat and Ankit. So boys and girls, we've had a mind-blowing, mind-pumping, mind-blasting fun day at Toys Today. Make sure you hit the like button and comment in the comment section below if you like this episode, if you want us to ante up even further. And don't forget to hit us up on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. Adios amigos and see you guys next time.